New Zealand's opposition leader admits he's not a career politician but argues that's just what the country needs after five years of a disappointing government that's soft on crime. Christopher Luxon believes New Zealand could learn from Australia's own policies to reinstate confidence after criticism for being woke during Jacinda Ardern's tenure. And Sky News New Zealand Bureau Chief Jessica Maggio sat down with the opposition leader in this exclusive report. He's the man vying for New Zealand's top job, albeit still new to the game. I think it's actually a real advantage. You know, I'm not a career politician. You know, I haven't been here 20 years and I actually think that's a really good thing. Christopher Luxon was elected as member for Botany in Auckland in 2020 before becoming the National Party leader in 2021. Frankly, this is the best country on planet Earth. Um, we've got endless amounts of potential. We've got some big problems that we've got to go solve and I wanted to go, go to work on those things. This year, he'll attempt to win over public support, including from around 700,000 Kiwis living in Australia, roughly 17% of New Zealand's population. Well, look, first thing I'd say, if we couldn't be Kiwis, we'd probably be Aussies. Uh, and you're right, a big number of us have actually lived and spent a lot of time in Australia, myself included. As a master's graduate in commerce and business administration, Christopher Luxon spent 16 years working and living abroad, including Sydney, Toronto, London and New York before returning to New Zealand to become CEO of the country's flagship carrier. We had quite a large business uh, emanating in Australia and at that time we also owned Virgin Australia uh, as well in, in, in Australia. So I spent a lot of time there as well. At the end of 2022 he was leading New Zealand polls when Jacinda Ardern and the Labour Party suffered their lowest ever ratings. This year polling has seen favourability return to Labour and Chris missed a fix at Hipkins. Look, I mean, I, I really, I don't see him as Mr Fixit at all, you know, it, which was probably not surprising to you. You know, from my perspective, he's a, it's a new leader, but it's the same old Labour. You know, he was one of the three with Grant Robertson, Jacinda Ardern, that were the inner sanctum of the Labour Party over the last five and a half years. And frankly, it's been a really disappointing government. During Jacinda Ardern's tenure, the Labour Party and New Zealand were criticised for being too woke. We've got a, a great country. I think, you know, there's no doubt about it. It's become much more internal. Um, wet, uh, negative, I think, uh, over the last few years as a function of the government's policies. But I want us to rediscover that external orientation, that positivity to be able to go out in the world and, and do so with great confidence. Labor's soft on crime attitude has received international criticism and is something the National Party is targeting. Chris Hipkins was the police minister under Jacinda Ardern's government and he believed that the tough on crime rhetoric was simply rhetoric that didn't work. Do you agree with that? Was he right? We have had a government that's been totally, utterly soft on crime, but we've got violent crime up over 31%. We've had a 500% growth, a 50% growth in gang membership, um, and we've had a 500% growth in, in ram raids here in New Zealand, which is a completely new phenomenon for us. So, you know, people are not feeling safe. And, you know, we look at, particularly if I look at some of the policy that we saw around gangs in Australia, that I think has been really effective, whether it's been WA or whether it's been some of the work in New South Wales and, and even Queensland, you know, we want to be able to say, look, we're going to ban gang patches in public places. We are going to have a dedicated gang unit. Christopher Luxon claims gang membership is running at more than 8,200 members, but with only 10,000 police officers, some regions are seeing a higher gang ratio. So for the National Party, is it about preventing crime or responding to crime? The tough on crime thing is we have to say, I'm sorry, but we are on the side of victims here, uh, not on the side of offenders, and we need to be able to call people to personal responsibility. As to what state New Zealand is currently in and where it needs to be, the opposition leader says standards are slipping. Yeah, look, I think we're really facing the crossroads. You know, we have had a period of, of, you know, we've got first world country expectations, but the reality is we're dealing with high inflation, high interest rates, possible recession and rising unemployment economically. And the government has really failed to deal with you know, economic management in a positive way. You have to earn your right to be a first world country. It's not just automatically given to you. And I think, you know, we're at that point Whereas, um, we can, are we going to really step up and want to realise all that great potential, endless potential that we have? Because we have amazing people. You know, we have incredibly innovative, talented, resilient, de determined Kiwis. You know, we battle and we, we punch above our weight everywhere around the world. And so we've got all that talent, but we've really got to make sure that um, people want to invest it here in New Zealand. Voters will go to the polls on October 14. Jessica Maggio, Sky News, Wellington.